you clicked this video because you don't like reading documents. The author of Oasis Driver has detailed instruction in his document. You don't read documents leading to your errors. Oasis Driver is not plug and play. You cannot just click start and it runs. Before unlocking devices, some steps are needed. You need your two controllers. Oasis Driver does not support HP headset building Bluetooth. So you need your Windows Bluetooth, whether building or an external USB dongle. To repair your controller, ensure you see both left and right controllers. In Windows settings, if you don't know how to pair HP Reverb G1, I will tell you now. There's a button on the back. Pair them, then you can go back to Steam to unlock. Unlocking the device is very important. You must see unlock your controller for both controllers. Only then you can truly run your game. And then you can start your Steam VR. Don't start Steam VR before this. It's very important that in Steam VR you see your VR headset and two controller icons. All three must be lit. If not, you need to make sure your controllers appear in front of your headset. Shake the headset a bit to make them appear. After that, you can do Steam's room setup. Only then you can achieve full VR room scare positioning. Then it's normal. I won't go into details. Hope this tutorial helps you. Many thanks to the author of Oasis for providing such complex driver for free, allowing us, abandoned by Microsoft, to revive our expensive devices. My HP Reverb G1 originally used Microsoft MWR driver, but Microsoft completely abandoned MWR in Windows 11 24H2. So the Oasis author rewrote this driver. According to the author, Oasis is Microsoft's internal code name for MWR. Oasis also comes from a very popular French drink. The author must be a French and grow up drinking it. Many thanks to him for providing such a great free program for us.